Among all the rubble in these affected areas will be people's precious memories. The tornado ripped through Dawson Springs, Kentucky, damaging family heirlooms and even the oldest of photos. One woman has been on a mission to return history to its owner. Once LAX 18's Austin Pollock heard her story, he jumped in the car and drove to Indiana. Crossing the bridge over the Ohio River is one way to get from Kentucky to Indiana. That's where Katie Poston lives in New Albany. The wind is getting so cold. There are no signs of damage in front of her home, but Saturday morning, remnants of the storm made way to her driveway by wind. It almost looked like someone left me a note on my car. This is far from a note. It looks like it's probably a picture of a picture, which means that who knows if the original is still around and it might be the only one that they have left. On the back of the photo, the names Gertie Swatzel and J.D. Swatzel. It was dated 1942, um, so I took a picture of it, put it on social media. If I don't find either of them, the likelihood that we find one of their family members hopefully is high, but you know, it's still a needle in a haystack. Or so it seemed. Instead, it turned out to be a perfect match. Family members say the photo came from Dawson Springs, Kentucky, that piece of history flying nearly 130 miles in the wind. What was the reaction like from that family member? Surprised, excited? He was really surprised. You know, I think initially because he didn't recognize the names, he was surprised to see that it was his family, but then also that it had traveled so far. His family says the photo is theirs, but they just aren't sure which home it came from. While this tornado has unfortunately been one for the history books in Kentucky and across the country, this piece of family history will make its way back to where it belongs. In New Albany, Indiana, Austin Pollock, LEX 18 News.